In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of mobile capture using SciGen, SciCapture, and Microsoft SkyDrive. So what is mobile capture? So with the, uh, the onset of, of mobile devices in, in the workplace, what we've seen is a, a number of requests from users that want to use tablets, smartphones to capture images, maybe photographs, maybe take photographs of uh, documents as well. So really the ability to walk around wherever you are and use these devices to route documents to a centralized repository. So in this particular demo, uh, I'm going to go over a, a use case. I had a request come from, uh, from one of our partners that wanted a, a proof of concept built. And they have a customer that uh, receives pallets of boxes of documents. And each of the, the boxes or the pallets are marked with barcodes. And what they want to do is using a tablet or a smartphone, snap a picture of the barcode, um, have SciCapture read the barcode, extract the information, process it, and post the data as w uh, the data into a list as well as a picture for proof of delivery um, of, the, uh, of the barcode uh, on the box. So in this example, uh, I actually used my iPad, and I'll go through a couple screenshots of the iPad, and then I'll go into a live demo with SciCapture and SharePoint to show you how everything works. But I actually downloaded SkyDrive, and within the SkyDrive interface, uh, what I've done is I've created a, a processing folder. So the synchronized folder is actually used as a hot folder by SciGen SciCapture to pick up and process images. And then we can do whatever we want through the, doc, the image capture workflow. So in this case, you can actually click on the Add Item button. And Microsoft did something really neat within uh, the SkyDrive app. If you click on Take a Photo or Video, it opens up a camera interface within the SkyDrive application. So now I've got the ability to snap a photo using the camera uh, of a document, or in this case, a barcode that might be on a box or a pallet. And once I snap that picture, it gets queued for auto-processing. Okay. So that's the front end piece. Now I'll go ahead and shift to uh, Site Capture and SharePoint and show you how the, uh, the pictures of the barcodes get processed and how the information gets routed into SharePoint. So now with the front end process complete, let's go ahead and look what's happening at, uh, at corporate headquarters. We've actually got the processing folder that's linked to the tablet. So the photographs will actually get uploaded and, and actually, uh, rather than having me take all the pictures and have you wait, I'm just going to paste in the, the photographs that I took earlier. And what you're going to see, the, the SciCapture processing folder would queue and then auto-process those documents. It's going to pull it through a workflow, read the barcode, run a database look at, lookup to bring back additional data about that pallet shipment, and then it's going to write uh, to a SharePoint list. So in this case, I've got a barcode workflow list. And within that barcode workflow, it's going to read the barcodes and auto write the data into the list. Okay. So this is the barcode that was read from the picture. And then I've went ahead and did a database lookup to bring back the sender and a description. And uh, the, the time was just a timestamp that was, uh, was added onto um, uh, the document or the photograph as well. So not only did I do that, with SciCapture, I also did some neat things with a linked column. So now, if I click on one of these links, let's say that I'm a, a user who actually wants to see the barcode. Maybe there's some additional wording or information on that barcode sheet that we want to see from the picture. I can come in and I've got this link to a document library and within the document library I've written uh, my barcode photographs and I can do some other neat things like in this example I actually um, watermarked the image with the time of receipt and uh, the sky's the limit on this we can do all different types of things with these images but uh, this is just one example okay so now that you've seen that, let me go ahead and show you. I'll give you a, kind of a, a, a manual operation of, of what happens within SciCapture. 
So there's two ways that you can capture documents with SciCapture. One is obviously a um, automated process, which I just showed you, where everything happens in the background and gets auto-processed. The other one you can actually do uh, manual processing, and this is just a real simple example of the uh, of the document that I just that I just showed. And what we'll do, we'll go uh, go to the SkyDrive processing folder, and I'll pick up the images and we'll actually bring them in. So this can be done interactively as well. Uh, it's just a little bit nicer automatically. One of the things I will show you, you can see that the, the barcode gets read automatically on the first floor images. The last one, I've actually blacked out part of the, the barcode. So this will actually create an exception and a validation process within SciCapture where it will move that bad document to a separate queue and actually send an email alert to notify a user that there's a bum document or a bum scan that needs to be looked at and processed manually. Okay. So as we go through the process, I'll go into what we call indexing. And once again, all this happens in the background automatically um, in the other demo. But if I hit the tab key, you can see I'm automatically running database lookups in the background to bring back the description in the center as well as the other data. Now once again, interactive process, but in in uh, the front end demo I showed you it was all automated okay? and this is the exception that gets created that we can uh, uh, have go into an exceptions queue and notify users to, to interactively process okay so that's mobile capture with SkyDrive and SciCapture just to give you an idea of the types of things you can do obviously this was barcodes you can do documents uh, photographs if your tablet actually supports geocoding or geotagging we can actually auto extract the latitude and longitude and give you that as data as well so a lot of different options have any questions uh, send a note to sales at sidegen.com thanks